Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a haul and I'm going to show you guys just a few things I've gotten recently and I'm ready to put this stuff up so I wanted to go ahead and get this haul up now. Let's just go ahead and state the obvious. I did dye my hair ombre as you can tell. I did this Friday and I really really do love it. My friend Jessica did it for me. I've known her for years and I have wanted ombre for a long time and I hadn't put bleach on my hair for a year I'd say because last year in January I went completely brunette so I love it. It's such a good change. I really think it just like livens up my face. My friend Jessica works at a hair salon near Atlanta so if you're interested in checking it out I'll leave the link down below and in her information. We did not touch the root up here. This is all the Lush Cherry shade and once we did like the golden ombre it really brought out that Lush Cherry color especially in the sunlight so I'm just really happy about it. Let's just go ahead and get started with the haul. I want to show you guys things that I got from the Victoria's Secret Cinnamon Annual Sale. I did purchase some other things, but they're already put away, so I figured I'd just show you guys these because I got these over the weekend. The first three items weren't from the semi annual sale, but I just had to have them because I love them. So, first off, these shorts, they are so cute. They're super flowy, they're 100% polyester, and I got these in a small. I didn't realize that the flaps were folded in the hanger because this is what it looks like. But I figured I'd keep it just because it has this drawstring, so I'd be able to tie it up tighter. But these are so cute, and they just remind me of spring and summer. Aren't they adorable? So, got those. And then the other two things, I absolutely adore these sports bras. I got one for Christmas, and ever since, I've just been obsessed, and I want, like, every single color. No lie. But they are the Victoria... Oh, it's the Incredible by Victoria's Secret Sports Bra. These are pretty pricey, but I promise you, if you work out a lot, it's totally worth the money because it gives you really great support if you're going to run or if you're going to do anything like that, you need good sports bras, especially if you're, you know, bigger chest up top. So this is the first one I got. You can see it does have the wire underneath, and I love these because they're really comfortable. They have, like, this clasp in the back. So it's kind of like a bra. If you feel like it's too tight on the first clasp, you can go down to the third one and it'll be looser for you and, you know, make you feel more comfortable. So I really like these. I get mine in a 36D. That's just my size. Again, I did get one in lime green and it kind of has like this netted feel to the front. Now they do have a few of these sports bras in the semi-annual sale bins. I don't even know if they still have that going on. But if they do have the semi-annual sale so sales still going on, they do have these in the bins. And they had the one that I already have, and then this was the only other one I could find. So it just has like this flower print, and these were $20, so it was $30 off. And it's just, I mean, it's a cute pattern. I really like it. And it's going to be cute under some tank tops. Okay, now moving on to fashion items. I posted a picture on Instagram with a beanie on and asked you guys if you knew of any, like, good stores with beanies. Because I've been looking for some cute ones. And this site actually contacted me and asked me if I wanted to pick out a couple things. And I did. And I don't have to show these in a video, but I think they're super cute. So I got this beanie because it's literally me in a beanie. <laughs> um, it just looks like this and it says, can you not? That's probably my most used phrase ever. Um, just because I always, I always say that. I'm like, can you not? <sighs> So this is super cute. The brand is Lauren Alexandra New York and I also got a shirt from them that says East Coast. I'll put a picture up right now. I posted it on Instagram and I absolutely love shirts like that that just have like a bold saying in the front and of course I live on the East Coast so I had to represent. I'm really loving these products that I got from them and I'll leave their link down below if you want to check out their site. Okay, next I want to show you guys some jeans that I got. This is from the brand Standards in Practice. And this brand is like really well known for their jeans and they have like so many different kinds of jeans, so many different textures, prints, and I'm really in love with this site. Like I'm so happy with the way they fit. The jeans are so different from anything that I have. So I really like them. It's a really cool site. So the first one I got, these are just some dark blue jeans and then they have like the black snake skin. I love it because it's bold but it's not too in your face. And I love them. They're skinny jeans. I will be trying these on for you guys. The next one, I have so many pairs of black jeans. And I wanted another pair that were kind of different. So these are just little black jeans with like kind of a chevron print. Not necessarily chevron. It would be like a messy chevron. But they just have a really cool pattern to them. Now, this pair is kind of different. They kind of feel like leather pants. Like a little bit of leather in there. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. But I love the color. The color is like a dark gray. And these are so nice. I love the way they fit. And I'm telling you, they just have like a 
like a shine to them. I don't know what they call these kind of jeans, but this is a great jean. I like am obsessed with these. They're so different from anything that I have and they feel really cool. I can't get over it. And these are just, you know, your regular dark wash blue jeans with a little bit of fading in the front. And I love these. I love the way that they're like sewn together because they're a little different. You can see the seam right here. And then I also got just a regular pair of dark wash jeans because you can never have too many dark wash jeans. And again, I really like them. Super, super soft. So that's just what they look like. Okay, so next I got a couple things from ASOS. Um, a lot of the stuff I've already worn from them, so I'm just going to show you guys these two. Let me just go ahead and say my favorite brand from ASOS is River Island. Like, every time I go on that site and I just scroll through the clothes, every little item that I click on is usually River Island. Like, I just, I don't know, I really like their stuff. So this is a first top from them. I absolutely love how busy it is. This was so cute with a pair of black jeans, just to be nice and casual. Tuck it in. And I love the sleeves because they're like that cuffed look. And I like this a lot. It's super cute. It is kind of big, but like I said, I'm going to tuck it in and it'll be fine. I got a size 8. I'm really bad at like converting sizes from like US to UK and things like that. And you don't know exactly how their size is going to fit. This one is a little too big, but it'll be fine. Especially in the summertime, tucked into some high-waisted jeans. It'll be cute. And then I got this shirt as well. This is also from River Island. And it just has like the mesh here in the cleavage area and on the shoulders and the top of the back. And it's just a cute little simple white top. And you can spice this up, make it casual, make it dressy. So I really like that. Okay, next I got a couple things from Express. And I had to return quite a bit of things just because their shirts fit really weird, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. But this is the first top. It's just a plaid front with a really gorgeous gold zipper and it's super lightweight. It has a plain back and I really do like this. I believe this is still on the site. I don't think I got this on sale. And then I got this one. I actually got the last one of this shirt um, because it was on sale for $10 and I snatched it up. Now it's just a camel color shirt with this gorgeous kind of like faux leather top with like the little holes in it. And I had a bunch of different shirts like this come in from Express because I ordered them. But if you can see at the end, it kind of flares out. This one isn't as bad as the other ones, but the other ones would literally like go out like this. And that does not flatter me at all. But this one was really nice. It's just a little bit flared out, but you can't really tell when it's on. Now next is from H&M. I did wear one of my little dressy hoodies. I'll put a picture right here. It's just like a red little hoodie. I don't know exactly how to describe it because it's not like a hoodie material. From the middle of your waist it just has lace and then it goes here to the elbows of your arms as well. So it's lace right here on your elbows and lace right in the middle of your stomach. It's super cute. You could dress it up. I just, I think it was adorable and it was only $10. And then I did get this one. I have another hoodie that is like this in white but I just love it. And I think it says chaos. I'm pretty sure it does. It's just the all black sweater and it has these gorgeous plates with just the letters on it and I love it. It's super cute. And I also got this. This is when they had a sale. I did not get this for $50. I got it on sale for probably 20 or so. And it's a gorgeous kimono. As you can tell, I love kimonos. I have one on now. This one's from Forever 21. It's a really nice quality kimono. Like it's got some weight to it. And I just really love this. I think it's adorable. And then the last thing I got from H&M, I actually have this in black, but I saw they had this one on sale in white, and it just has the kind of crochet up at the top. And then you have these gorgeous sleeves, and it's just a super laid back top. I have the uh, black one in a small, but I had to get this one in a medium because they didn't have any other sizes, but I think I can make it work. Just like tuck it into some jeans or some shorts. And now I'm going to show you guys some Bath & Body Works stuff. I stocked up on candles again, even though I really don't need to stock up on candles. Like, I have plenty. So the main reason I went into Bath & Body Works is to stock up on this candle. These are on sale for $8 at the store. It's the Dolce scent. Um, I love this because it's sweet. But it's not too sweet, and it just smells so good. I don't have to, like, open my patio door or anything because it's overwhelming, which I love that. It says, an irresistible Italian treat is captured in a delectably fragrant pure blend of pure vanilla bean, rich caramel, and fresh cream. And all that together sounds like it would be really strong, but it's not. This scent and Harvest Coffee, which I stocked up on Harvest Coffee, too, they are my two favorite scents. I just adore them because I can handle the scent. Like, it's not too much, so... 
I picked up two of those and then I did get two things from the fresh picked line and usually I don't really find stuff I like in there but I saw these two and I really liked them um, I love the smell of like lilac and once I saw this I knew I was gonna love it it's called lilac blossom Oh, and it just, oh, it smells so good. Delightful Lily of Valley Blossoms and Violet Surround Lush Lilac in the Springtime Fragrance. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love fresh scents. I love kind of flower scents. As long as they're not too much, I'm going to love them. And then I got this one because it just kind of like reminded me of my childhood. It's called Honeysuckle Bouquet. And it smells like a honeysuckle bush. It says, this scent of early spring contained in a bouquet of sweet honeysuckle and pink peony with a touch of creamy vanilla. I got four of the new scents, two I got, uh, one of the scents I got two of, uh, but they do have their summer candles back out and I loved that they had candles I loved from last year back out. I was going to get creamy and escape, but it smelled so much stronger than last year. I don't know, I didn't pick that up again. But this one's Tiki Beach. It says, a scent as warm as sun rays, a luxurious blend of toasted coconut, vanilla musk, and resort glamour. It just, it smells like the beach. Like, if you're at the beach and you have your coconut oil on, I need a vacation. Yeah, I love this scent. Definitely recommend it. Tiki Beach is one of my faves. And then this is one of the newer ones. I don't think they've ever came out with these. I could be wrong, but I've never seen them before. This one's called Tokyo Petals. It says Iced Sake and Cherry Blossoms. An exotic combination of Japanese Iced Sake, delicate cherry blossoms, and a hint of berries. It has that berry smell, but it's not too berry. Like, I don't like too much of a berry scent. This one smells clean with a little bit of berries. I mean, I, I, really, I really like that. And then this is the one that I got two of and it's called Sydney Harbor and it says experience Australia's most beautiful harbor city with a blend of salt waters exhilarating eucalyptus and bamboo wood visit the land down under this one just smells very 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 clean yep I love those and now I'm going to show you guys some makeup products that I purchased and this is just you know a collective kind of thing I'm going to show you what I got from Nordstrom first. And the first thing I got, I love my Bobbi Brown Tawny Blush, but I was really interested in this one. It looks super bright online, and it is very, very bright, but it is so pretty on the cheeks. For spring and summer, this is going to be such a beautiful color, and it's called Apricot. I love Bobbi Brown blushes so much because they're very, very pigmented, but yet they blend really well at the same time. I have wore this a couple times, and... You only need like the smallest amount, like just use a very light hand with it. And once you get it on your cheeks, you can just blend it in and it's beautiful. So the next thing I got was this MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Magnetic Appeal. This is from that magnetic line they have out, like the nude line. I forget what it's called. But I have Superb. I got quite a few things from that collection and usually I'm not the type of person to buy things from collections. But everything in that collection I pretty much loved, especially the lipstick. I have it on today. It's called Close for comfort, I think. But I saw this one, I didn't know about it at first, but once I saw swatches online, because I went and looked up some things, I really liked it. It's kind of just like a gold bronze color, and I think this will just be really pretty on the cheeks. And I really like these extra dimension skin finishes. I've never had them before um, until this collection, and now I want them all, especially Whisper of Guilt, because I've heard so many people talk about that shade. But I love this. This is so, so pretty. And the last thing I got from Nordstrom is this Chanel foundation. This is the Matte Lumiere Long Lasting Soft Matte Sunscreen Makeup Foundation. I got the color 40 Beige. I also got another color just to kind of see what color I'm going to be. And I love the packaging. And if you guys want to see um, like a review or first impression on this, let me know. I am going to see which shade fits me best. Just let me know if you want to see a first impression on this because I'm thinking about it, but it's all up to you guys if you want to see it or not. Okay, next things. These are also going to be products I'm doing first impressions on. This one will be up this Friday. This is the Real Techniques. Miracle Complexion Sponge. I was going to upload this last Friday, but I just got so busy I didn't have time. I've been doing pretty good on doing my first impression Fridays until that Friday, so I plan on doing this one this week. I'm really interested in trying it out, and a lot of you have requested to see a video on this, so it'll be at you this Friday. And then another thing is something you guys have requested numerous times. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And the reason why I never purchased this is because I'm just not a huge fan of light coverage foundations because usually I want stuff to, that's going to cover up like my redness or if I have acne or something. But I figured I would try it out. I mean, I've heard great things. I have no idea if this shade is going to match me or not. I plan on using it when I'm nice and self-tanned, so we will see. But 
Yep, this is in my first impression drawer. And then this one, I want you guys to let me know if you want to see a first impression on this because it's kind of a different product to do a first impression on. It's the Too Faced Bulletproof Brows 24 Hour Waterproof Cashmere Clay and Bulletproof Brow Brush. So basically, it's just like a waterproof brow product. I got the color Universal Brunette, which this shade might be a little dark for me since I went ombre, but I'll just use a light hand with it. So yeah, it has the cutest packaging ever. You open it up and then it says Bulletproof Brows Universal Brunette. Then you pop that top open and you have the product on the inside. I think that's really great because sometimes cream products can dry out really fast and this looks like it's gonna help keep that from drying out as quickly. So, very excited about that. Okay, so that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue to do hauls every now and then. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.